Hi, and welcome to The Incredible Life of Cat. Today, I am gonna go over my fragrances of the week. I did wanna say thank you if you are a new subscriber, and just in general, if you are clicking on my video and watching it. If you want to, you can subscribe down below. I'm trying to get as many subscribers as I can, just like any other YouTuber can. And I also will be doing a giveaway when I'm well over a thousand subscribers. So don't forget to subscribe for that. Uh, in addition to my fragrances of the week, I'm adding another part to this video and I'm going to be sharing my lip balms of the week. So I got this wild hair up my butt and I decided I wanted to go through all my lip balms. That is a collection that I haven't really mentioned a whole lot on my channel. I do collect Bath and Body Works. I collect a lot of different things. I collect Scentsy, I collect Bath & Body Works, I collect Starbucks cups. Um, right now, I'm kind of on hold with buying most things. I think the only thing I'm not including in my no-buy is lip balm. I don't, I'll go and buy a whole bunch at a time and then not buy some for several months. So, uh, what I want to do is share with you guys the lip balms or lip products that I am using during the week along with my fragrances of the week. I thought about doing like a project pan. I do have a uh, bin. I don't think you can see it right now, but it's up on my shelf with just items that I know are open lip balms and I'm kind of rotating them. I used to just use one lip balm at a time, but this week I've been using a plethora of them. So I'm going to start sharing them. I'm going to start, you know, using a different one and sharing it when I do my community posts and things like that. If you would like to see like a project pan or see the ones that I have open that I'm trying to use, I could do that. If you want me to go through my entire collection, it would be a very long video, but I'm more than happy to make that video. You could probably comment down below if you want to, your ideas on that. And um, yeah, I might make a post, a poll in my community to have at some point to give feedback on how you guys feel about me, just kind of implementing that into my lifestyle vlog here. So the first item that I used was Pink Sugar Body Mist. I think it's by Aqualina. Um, it doesn't say the actual brand on the front of it, but I want to say it's Aqualina. Um, I really like this and it was actually very, very strong. I did mix it with something else. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. It's in my empties, but I will be sharing that with you guys pretty soon. This is just a very sugary, sweet, scent and it does stick very very long i didn't have to reapply very much when i used it the next sugary scent that i used was enchanted candy potion from bath and body works and the notes are spellbinding sugar bewitching berries and whipped pixie dust and i really love this fragrance and i do have more of it so i'll probably be using it in the future the next one i use this is that's my day the next one that i used is Waikiki Beach Coconut. This is one of the few tropical fragrances that I really, really actually like. I don't have the notes offhand. They don't have it printed on the small bottles, but I went through and I bought like all the tropical ones last year. And the only one that I really, truly love is probably Waikiki Beach Coconut. So I'm probably gonna repurchase it maybe this year. Let's kind of see how things go. I'm not gonna really commit to doing that, but as you guys know, I'm kind of not buying Bath & Body Works right now just because it's so expensive and because I put myself on a no-buy because I have a lot of product. And unless I get a gift card or something like that or I've saved up a certain amount of cash to spend there, I'm not going to be buying, but I am going to be sharing what I'm using. This week, I used Blackberry and Basil, and I forgot to write down the notes for this one too. I have a lotion. I don't have the lotion to it, so I'm using Twilight something. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, a Christmassy Twilight something something. It's one of the ones I got at semi-annual sale during the summer. And um, I do have the matching shower gel. So I've been using this one. I like it, but I'm kind of on the fence for it. I don't really have an opinion on it yet, if that makes sense. I mean, it's nice. I don't know if it's something that I could commit to buying it back up for. I thought I liked it when I first bought it, but I don't like it as much as I thought I was going to. And the last fragrance that I used was Pastel Skies, and I'm actually wearing this one today. I made a post on my community tab about that. 
Notes for this are soft cloud berries, pink spun sugar, and coconut musk. This is a really nice creamy, coconut creamy vanilla kind of fragrance and it's very sweet. I especially like it, so I would definitely recommend it. If you don't like the sweet ones, it might be too heavy for some of you, but I do adore this fragrance and I like it very much actually. And so the lip balms that I wore this week, I started off actually with one that I don't know where it is. So uh, the first one that I used this week, I actually don't have because I lost it. Um, I typically am pretty good at using up lip balms. I don't know why there's shining, but I had a cake batter one. And I lost it. My husband found it and then I found it again. And I lost it after using it. So it may turn up again. <laughs> um, that is kind of how it goes. Most of the time, I usually just keep one in my pocket. I keep a few in my purse. I keep one by the bed. I keep them all over the place. I keep one at my desk. Uh, one that I was using this week besides that is the Orange Sherbet from Chapstick. This one is okay, but I definitely have to be in the mood for orange to use it. Um, I'm not saying I won't finish it. I'm not going to be finishing the chapsticks and lip balms and stuff as fast as I used to. I used to go through one to two a month. Now I'm not because I want to try rotating them and see how it goes. Um, this one was pretty good if you like like orangey stuff or like an orange sherbet type of thing. Uh, personally, I don't know that I would repurchase this one, this particular flavor, but I do like chapsticks in general. My daughter's home, by the way. So the next one that I used was the Cotton Candy, and I'm using this one today, and this is by Taste Beauty. This one's okay, but I noticed Taste Beauty, unless you're going to use them within a year or two, uh, don't hold on to them too long. It, it's not that they're losing flavor or they've gone bad, but it's just they don't go on as well as other ones do. This one's all right. Uh, the flavor's okay. Would I repurchase? Maybe, but I have plenty of the Taste Beauty ones to go through. Next one is one of the favorites that I'm using, and this is a Lip Smackers. This is the Olaf Wonderful Waffles and Syrup. Olaf is one of my favorite Disney characters. I have several favorite Disney characters, but he is one of my favorite. He just always like cracks me up so bad. I'm always giggling when we're watching anything having to do with Olaf. Another one, then this one is kind of beat up and I actually found it in Sita's room, but I know I've had it a long time and I wanted to finish it. And this is Lolly Lamb Cotton Candy Flavored and this is also by Taste Beauty. Uh, like I said, it's older. I don't mind using it. You know, a lot of people are really picky about things being expired. I don't mind if things are older so long as they're functioning. If they smell funny, if they've been open too long, no, I'll toss them. But uh, it all depends on how it goes. The next one that I'm going to be using, or did use, doy, is uh, Lip Smackers. This is a little Mickey, Mickey and Minnie Christmas one. This is Cheerful Peppermint Mocha. I really like the peppermint mocha and like the coffee flavored lip balms. So you may see more of those on my channel. Um, my One of my favorites actually is the Burt's Bees Mint Cocoa, but that's kind of hard to find. I've seen it on Mercari, but I haven't actually bought it yet. But I do really like this one. The flavor and the scent is awesome, and I've been enjoying it. I haven't had a problem with super dry lips or anything because I've been using ChapStick. If I hadn't, um, I live in the desert, so everything's dry all the time. So <laughs> I, use co I use constant ChapStick. I'm probably using it a little bit more often because it's been pretty cold lately, but it's one of the warmer days of the week right now and it's about 50 degrees today and so the next one that i'm using is unicorn delight frappe from lip smacker and this is one that i bought for me but me and Sita have shared on and off i don't mind sharing chapstick with my daughter or my husband because we don't have any issues um this one is part way used and one of my problems i have is that she keeps wanting to take it and use it and then she leaves the places so I just keep kind of corralling them and putting them back in my office or back in my purse so I can find them. And the last item which is not a lip balm but it's a lip gloss which is also going to be kind of a part of this is the strawberry pound cake lip gloss that I've been working on for eons from Bath and Body Works. So I figure 
If I use something steadily for a long time, yes, I'll finish it, but I don't like forcing myself to use things I don't want to use. So I'm just going to kind of rotate things. I am still going to have plenty of empties, trust me. They may not be as many lotions at a time or hand creams at a time, things like that. But um, this is kind of my way of enjoying my collections. I think that's it for this video, and I will talk to you later. Bye!